It's been a while since I've come here. This place is always filled with sheep. Yeah, I know. The sheep are a bit confused, don't you think? You could call it that. I say they're very confused. They never notice what's going on around them. <laughs> I bet you, if we stood right in the middle of them, they wouldn't even notice. And how would we do that? That's easy. We disguise ourselves as sheep and go and visit them. They'll think we're sheep, and when we're among the herd, we'll start running and shouting and we'll scare them. But why do you want to scare them when they're so peaceful? And besides, where are we going to find the costumes? Ah, uh, it's a scientific experiment, Moo Moo. I want to prove that they won't notice a thing unless we scare them. As far as the, the costumes, that's easy. Since sheep have so much wool once a year, they have to be sheared. And all the wool is kept. We'll go and get that wool. And what should we tell the others? The truth, that they should wait here and that we'll be disguised as sheep. Momo and I are going to do a few things. We'll be right back. What are you two up to? We're not up to anything. Rita wants to do a science experiment, even if I don't really understand it. We're going to go look for some wool to disguise ourselves. <laughs> yes, that. That's it, to disguise ourselves. We'll be right back. Those two are definitely up to something. Today they seem pretty calm, and I don't think they're doing anything bad. That bit about wanting to disguise themselves for some scientific experiment doesn't sit right with me. When they come back, we'll see where it was they went. This disguise is going to be awesome. Come on out. Come out and let me see it. Wait a second, ah. I've almost got it. <laughs> you left some wool for me, didn't you? Are you almost ready? Woo! Everything's set. Are you ready, Moo Moo? Do I look like a sheep? Wow, that's awesome. You look like a long-necked sheep. <laughs> now it's my turn. Hurry and come out already. That fits you perfectly. You'll see how cool this is going to be. <laughs> it's been a while since we've seen those two. Where could they have gone? Don't worry, they'll be here soon. Look at those two strange looking sheep. Yeah, they do seem odd. I don't know, there's something strange about those two. Are you all blind? Those two sheep are Moo Moo and Rita disguised as sheep. Oh, you're right. Where are they going? <laughs> this is easier than I thought it would be. This is cool. Now what do we do? Let's keep bellowing, and soon you'll see how my scientific experiment will unfold successfully. What? What are they doing? Let them play. Nothing's going to happen to them. That's not necessarily true. When Alfreda the sheepdog sees that they're not sheep, she'll throw a fit and, and stop biting them. Shouldn't we warn them? Let them learn a lesson. Okay, Moo Moo, are you ready to scare them now? <laughs> yeah, yes I am. How do we do it? We'll count to three and then we'll scare them. All right, sounds good. One, two, I hope you both learned your lesson. Jump in the water, Rita! Woof, woof, woof. That 
That's brilliant. I'm floating. All right, I'm floating too. Wool doesn't float. Momo, where did you get this wool? Quack, quack, quack. Quack. Look over there. It's quack. Momo. Everyone look. Quack, 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 quack. Quack, 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 quack. <laughs> hey guys, you coming in? Milo, you coming? Alfred, you coming? Don't worry about me. You go ahead. Hello. Hello. Quack, 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 quack. What a beautiful day it is today. Look at this flower. It smells wonderful. Hello, little froggy. How are you? Do you want to play with me? Little froggy, don't run away. I want to play with you. Little froggy. Where are you? Don't be afraid. I just want to play with you. Where could it have gone? Little froggy. Little froggy. Are we playing hide and seek? Olga, Milo, something terrible has happened. What happened? Momo hasn't eaten her afternoon snack. And what's so terrible about that? Mumu never misses eating her afternoon snack. It would be like one morning the sun not coming out. Oh, what's more, I've been looking for her for the past three hours and can't find her anywhere. I agree, that is a problem. We need to go and look for her right now. But where will we look for her? We should split up and look in different places. But it would take too long to find her. I think it would be best for all of us to take the train and go look for her all together. What a great idea, Milo. Let's go right now. My friends, today we're taking the train. Everyone ready? Then off we go. Little froggy. If you're still playing hide and seek, Forget it, because I'm tired now. Who in the world goes in the forest without knowing where to go? I think I'm lost. Now I'll never see my friends again. Poor little me. Hello, little cow. Why are you so sad? I got lost in the forest. I saw you in the garden and wanted to play with you, but you went so fast and I thought you were playing a game. But following you, I got lost. I see. Well, you do have a problem, and it's a big one. I already know that. Do you want me to help you get out of here? And how are we going to do that? We don't know the way home. I already know that, but we can look for it together. That sounds very good to me. Wonderful! A brilliant idea! Is it a game? So where do we start? Well, we'll start by walking and... You'll see everything will turn out fine. I'll follow you. Moo Moo! Where are you? Moo Moo! I think I should blow the train whistle so that she knows we're here. I don't think she's around here. Maybe we should go and search somewhere else. You're right, Alfred. We're going, friends. Hold on tight. Moo Moo! Moo Moo! Moo Moo! Maybe she went to live with the sheep and we'll never see her again. Don't say that, Alfred. I'm sure we're going to find Moo. Don't you worry. We've been walking for a long time now and we haven't seen anything. I think we're almost there. Don't you worry. 
Can I stay here and sleep with you if we don't find my friend soon? Well, of course you can. Yay! But I hope you like sleeping in the water. Huh? Sleep in the water? I'd rather sleep in a nice dry bed. I'm not an aquatic cow. Frogs usually like being in the water and sometimes we sleep in it. But there are times when we sleep on land. We'll find a spot for you. Thank you, little froggy. Hmm, it would be nice to find something for dinner. Milo, blow the whistle again. Moo, moo. Moo, moo. Are you here? I don't think she's here either. Well, if she's not here, I don't think we'll find her today. We'd have to sleep out in the open. I think it would be better if we went home. What's that noise? <gasps> that must be my friends who are looking for me. The noise Yay! is coming from over there. Let's hurry up before they leave. Moo -moo. It would be faster if instead of running, mm -hmm. you jump the way I do. Okay. <clears throat> Run, little froggy. They're leaving. Uh, you go. You run faster alone. Follow the path and you'll be there right away. Goodbye, <sighs> little froggy. Thank you. Don't leave me here all alone. Poor Moo Moo. She'll be all by herself tonight. Loneliness, hunger, cold. Wait for me! Don't go! Rita! Hey, hold on, hold on! I hear something! <gasps> Rita! Thank you for coming to rescue oh, me! You really gave us quite a scare, Moo Moo! I'm so sorry, friends! I'll never go alone into the forest, I promise you! I love you all so much! And we love you, Moo Moo! <laughs> <laughs>